We're the Black and White Years, and you're watching ATXLive.com. Quite a year. We have been to uh, England most recently. I'm starting at the most recent and moving back. Uh, been to England. We played ACL, played South by Southwest, uh, got five Austin Music Awards. We opened for Devo. Ah, uh, that's what just comes to mind immediately. It's been quite a recording. year. Recording. Working recording. on a new record. Yeah, okay, and that's, uh, well, that's the other thing. Most exciting part yeah, of, think of that. Yeah, it's been a good year. A whirlwind of a year. All of us besides Billy there, we all met in Nashville in, in college and moved here because it, you know, it's a lot cooler than Nashville. Then Nashville. Yeah. yeah, the rest of these guys are from Texas. I'm from New York originally, so it gives you that northern feel. <laughs> that northern feel. A little mountain feel. Tell me about the new album and how, how that process is. Well, we're not working with really a producer as much. We're kind of working with an engineer who, you know, controls his own space and, you know, last time we worked with Jerry Harrison from the Talking Heads, you know, so that was kind of a different experience than what we were used to because we're used to recording ourselves and all that stuff, you know, so this was more the, f the vibe of us going in and just doing kind of whatever we wanted and make it sound good however we wanted it to sound, you know. Which is what we went to school to learn how to do, was to record music. We wanted to learn the business and the kind of technical aspect of music as well. And so it's kind of been like old times going into the studio and it's up to us to decide how it's going to sound and how it's going to go. And so it's, uh, it's liberating. The first album, we're, we're happy with how it turned out, but I think we were all, um, we missed having the fingers on the, the mixing board and, you know, control of the sound. And this one will be more representative, representative of like how we sound live, too, you know, because the other one was kind of... It was just kind of produced in a way where it sounded like, you know, a, cl a clean record, which, you know, was good, but it didn't really capture the live essence, I don't think. Yeah, we, I think we tracked 12 songs in two days. Um, no more, maybe, <laughs> no more than three takes per song, at least. Well, on this, this one. one. On this this one. one. So, I mean, it's like as live as we could possibly get without overdubbing. Yeah, because we were just going to make them as demos, so we just went in to do as much as we could just to have demos, and then we were like, you know, we like the way it sounds, so we'll keep yeah. just working on it, and we decided, oh, well, let's just do this, we'll, we'll release it ourselves, you know, or at least start to. Six. 
most of those songs have already been in live shows for about a year. I mean, there's a couple of exceptions, one or two, that were written in the last uh, six months or eight months, but for the most part, all those songs have been around for a little while. We we felt like it was really time for us to get in the studio because uh, there's new material in the pipeline, and we're you know this is perfectly good stuff. We got to get this recorded before we get bored of it. So anyway, we we. It was good that we finally got in and got this stuff down because some of our fans have been hearing it for yeah a year and a half. We, we should have done this sooner, <laughs> yeah. I guess. But you know, now we realize better a year late than ago never, would have been a good know? time to start on this thing. But uh, but it's a lot of fun. At least we're really tight. Once we got into the studio, it was that like, was, we've been uh, playing this a year. And no problem. Yeah, that was that was that out. was the plan. A whole year of, <laughs> of pre-production. You know, practice at home and live, it. and then you know, then pre pro. We'll Very it. good. That's what that. That's the last why we could do twelve songs in two days. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> rip right through. And was this all recorded and everything here in Austin? Sure yeah. was. Yeah, it was Cacophony Recorders. Eric Wofford is the engineer. He's done like Octopus Project and. Ockerville River uh, and Black Explosions in the Sky. You know, he's very works with a lot of Austin, Austin artists. And tape, tape, reel to reel. We yeah. did it on two inch reel. That was important because the last one was all done in Pro Tools, and we, one of our favorite studios in Nashville was an uh, analog studio, completely analog tape. You know, there wasn't any kind of digital recording interface in there at all. So, kind of nice to get back to that sound. You know. Yeah, it's I guess it's pretty interesting electronic. I guess I guess we're electronic based band, yeah, keyboard sense. keyboard based, on you know, nice warm tape. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of an interesting dynamic. 